Inside your Google account, you may have noticed this auto apply suggestions and a lot of people are talking about should you auto apply recommendations? You have this menu in here, it says maintain your ads, grow your business, check these boxes and all your dreams will come true pretty much. And people are asking, is this Google ads new AI that runs accounts for you? So in this video, we're going to dive in and see if it's a good idea to auto apply recommendations and what we recommend to do for maintaining your accounts in Google ads. So inside of your Google ads accounts, it has this recommendations and it has pop-ups on pretty much every single area you're in. When you log in, you're at campaigns, ad groups, keywords, ads, uh, everything. And, and Google has been doing this for years. I think they just went all in recently on this to, to keep pushing their nonsense, uh, kind of maintain your ads, even grow your business. Uh, the, the wording they use is just ridiculous in here that if you, you, check these boxes, they will succeed. And the biggest thing to remember is it will attempt to do all of this. So it'll show your best performing ads, it'll write ad or add responsive search ads, get more conversions at a similar or better ROI by showing more relevant ads to customers. They just pulled that out of thin air. You're not going to get more conversions at a better or similar ROI just by doing this. It's a suggestion, it might do it, their automation is going to attempt to do it, they really should have a warning if you check this box, uh, it could go the opposite direction and tank the entire account, which it often does. So this would be writing ads for you uh, and not showing them to you, Just they just go live. Uh, expanding into Google search partners, which are all their terrible mini search engines and directories, and they don't tell you because it, it's that bad, they don't have a list. Uh, remove redundant keywords, that's a bad idea, you can do different different options in here, uh, non-serving keywords. If they're not serving, I mean, you can leave them in there. It's not really a big, big deal. Uh, optimize targeting. There's just so many options in here that, that don't make a lot of sense. So again, we asked the question, is this Google Ads new AI that will run the accounts for you? And the, the simple answer is no. It's a built-in sales tactic to get you to spend more money. Optimization score, which is tied in if you auto apply recommendations, if you apply recommendations, all this, uh, optimization score, it just equals nothing. It's a completely made up metric that if you do what Google tells you to do, your optimization score goes up. A and they had the nerve to call it an optimization score as if the, the more of these you do, the better optimized your account is. It, it, it literally goes up if you apply the things they tell you to apply, even if they're really bad ideas, like adding keywords that don't make any sense. Uh, for example, optimization score, another one, it goes up when you spend more money. There is a suggestion to raise your budgets and it'll tell you, uh, you know, your optimization score will go up 25% if you increase your daily budget. It, it doesn't make any sense. It, it's a made up number or your optimization score goes up when you apply the recommendations. So this really, uh, optimization score is, it's a useless metric. Jumping back into our test account here that we use inside of our course to go through and have examples, teach you how to properly run Google ads. Uh, you're just looking at things in here. I mean, it's Google's goal is to get you to spend as much money as possible. So we've got, again, there's uh, going into the different search partners, not necessarily bad, but it can waste a lot of money. Removing non-serving keywords, conflicting keywords, it's just a lot of random things. Um, here, here's the ones that are the biggest red flags though. Add new keywords. It's just gonna add keywords that it thinks are relevant. And if you've ever looked at search terms or adding negative keywords, Google constantly puts in irrelevant keywords and spends it waste a lot of your money on these. So you wanna control what keywords you show for rather than checking this box. Google's just gonna keep adding keywords and uh, not really tell you. It's actually buried way back in the back of the account as far as what's in here. You'll just notice you waste a lot of money. Broad match, it, it should be extremely broad. It shows for uh, a lot of different keywords that are kind of related or they're a theme. And, and again, Google says, get more conversions at a similar or better ROI by adding broad match versions of your existing keywords. It, it writes it as if it will definitely happen. It's 100% when really Google will attempt to get more conversions at a similar or better ROI and it fails 
constantly. All of the wording is, is absolute that, that it will happen, and it, it definitely won't, usually doesn't. Display ex expansion is a terrible idea. If you're running a search campaign and you want it to also show on the display network as kind of banner ads, but not really, uh, banner ads are completely different. If you run display campaigns, you'll run a separate display campaign. Don't run a search and display campaign. It, it wastes a substantial amount of money. And then all the bidding in here, automated bidding ne isn't necessarily a bad thing. You just have to keep a very close eye on the machine and make sure it's going in the right direction. So bid more efficiently on target impression share. Target impression share is literally showing up as much as possible. The, the highest impression share, a share of impressions, just showing more often. Or getting as many clicks as possible. You're not going for clicks, you're going for leads, conversions, ROI. Uh, clicks for the sake of clicks isn't a good thing. Maximize conversions attempts to do this. Uh, we have it in one of our other videos. You need at least 30 conversions a month for this fully automated bid strategy to even work. It needs enough data. Maximize conversion value as far as the value of each con conversion, usually uh, e-commerce type of thing or lead gen if you have that built in. Uh, it, it needs a ton of conversions to even figure out a value. Same thing for target CPA, cost per acquisition, or target return on ad spend. It needs so many sales to, to feed the automation. It can work, but it's a substantially high number as far as what you need. Same thing with all these. These are very complex as far as setting up a target. You know, you, you think you can get $30 per lead or $10 per lead. Having the automation just randomly do it without any oversight uh, definitely won't work. So the auto apply recommendations are a terrible idea. Uh, you can go in and manually look at all the recommendations, but honestly, that's a giant waste of time. It's just all the auto apply recommendations, but they're in little boxes and then they have optimization score. If you uh, add more responsive ads, if you, if you add some more keywords, if you switch to uh, some random automated bidding that has no backing, your optimization score will go up 17.2% or something weird. It, it's just all these upsells. They even say pretty much every time you log into the account, if you increase your daily budget, your optimization score will go up. Your optimization score goes up if you spend more money. If you spend more money, your optimization score goes up. It, it's a loop that doesn't really have any backing and go anywhere. I, I feel like Google's not even trying at this one. So. So again, optimization score is a useless metric. You can completely ignore it. Uh, if a Google rep calls you, uh, we covered in our other interview uh, and a lengthy article on our website, uh, Google reps are paid salespeople to get you to auto apply recommendations, get your optimization score up, and they get bonuses based on how much they increase your budget. They're just salespeople. They have pretty much no training. They manage over 300 accounts. It's just a call center that harasses people nonstop. So. Ignore the Google reps, ignore optimization score, uh, learn how to run Google ads from everywhere except Google. Otherwise, it's kind of like learning how to gamble from the casino. They have an agenda. They're trying to get as much money as possible out of you. So ignore optimization score, ignore Google suggestions. Honestly, don't talk to Google reps at all and never apply, auto, never auto apply recommendations. Even if Google's newsletter said it's, it's the greatest new thing ever, just ignore it and don't do it. If you want more tips on how to properly optimize a Google Ads account, uh, click on the description below. We, we have our newsletter, we have free training, we have paid training, a lot of great suggestions, and uh, thanks for watching. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching our PPC Ads training video. Uh, if you want more videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, like this video if you found it useful. And any questions, post them in the comments down below. Uh, we also have additional training in the description. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.